to think that somebody got it a little bit worse than you do, you know? Now, the stuff that goes on in other countries, let's just, let's talk about the Taliban women like that, like, they're still human. Check this video out. Sick. Make sure, hey, don't forget, make sure you subscribe, share this, like this. We're climbing a ladder. Let's do it. I'll go to, though, in, in, in regards to uh, what we heard. So the moment uh, Afghanistan was taking place three, four months, you saw the interviews that was going on with the yeah. Taliban. And you saw how, you know, the Taliban interviews were, well, they're saying they're going to be good to women. They're saying, yeah, right. they're saying they're going to treat them uh, fair. They're saying, you know, when you would see the interviews, uh, one of the Taliban would say, you're talking about 20 years ago. Things have changed. I just saw six changed. Just saw 60 minutes yeah. this weekend. Well, I saw, I saw that. Yeah, she we're not like, the same. Oh, they're what are you talking about? about? We are taking care of women. That's an yeah. old thing you're thinking about. And then you hear the stories where a video you see a 55-year-old, 60-year-old man taking a 12-year-old girl to be his wife because the mom and dad are giving her up because they need the money for food. And you say, wait a minute, that doesn't match what you just said. And being a Middle Eastern, having been born and raised in Iran, heard a lot of those stories, saw those stories personally, saying, yeah, this is what could happen in a place like that. From your perspective, having contacts up there, having people up there, what's going on in Afghanistan right now? It is the nightmare we predicted it would be. So women have no place in society. They're trapped at home. Uh, compulsory education for women ends the minute they reach puberty. They're not allowed to go to schools. Um, so is CBS lying? <laughs> CBS might be talking like, the Taliban, like, think of, like, North Korea. You go to North Korea, right? A lot of people go to North Korea. They get, like, the, the, the official tour. They take you to all the things that are open. Mm -hmm. Everything else is actually closed. You don't get to really see the poverty behind the scenes. It's the same thing with the Taliban. There's the dime tour that they take foreign media on. You go and actually talk to the people in the country, though, and people are starving. As we predicted, this winter is going to kill more people through starvation and exposure than the Taliban could ever possibly hope to with their bombs and bullets. And the reason why is because the international community fed and fueled Afghanistan for the last 20 years. Afghanistan has holistically depended on imports to feed and survive its, its population, right? The Taliban have no international contacts or support. They don't have to know how to manage the economy. So what they've done is they have completely become dependent on Pakistan uh, they're selling off U.S.-made military equipment to Pakistan to try to feed themselves. What aid they are getting from the World Food Program, I, I can show you right now if you want. Um, this is I got a, uh, th this is uh, sent to me two days ago. Um, here, I'll show you a picture. Um, the Taliban are refusing to give out food aid to anybody other than Taliban fighters. So if you are – here. This is sent to me by a source in Afghanistan. So it's a picture. Let me air drive it to him so yeah. he can put it on the screen. Sure. It, so it's similar to the horror stories that we've heard of, like yeah. Mogadishu back in the 90s. It's, and it, it's just as bad. Like, people are selling their kids. VT Studio feed. iMac? VT MacBook Pro. The kids are, people are selling their kids to, to feed themselves. There's there's a picture on, on social media th this morning of a guy literally selling his shoes in Kabul to try to buy food for his kids. Uh, there is a, The BBC had an article today. No, no, the New York Post had an article today about uh, an Afghan woman who sold one of her twins to help buy food for the other one. I mean, people are making... S selling to who and for what? Like Other people. people selling the people, children? Yeah. Sold one of her twins? Yeah. So that she could buy food for the other one. It's in the, it's in the New York Post this morning. Um, but this picture that you're putting up... Uh, it's Mario. I don't know why Tyler's putting up Mario's picture. It's, uh, give me a second. I'm finding it. It's, uh, this was taken by uh, a source I have in Afghanistan. Help him out. It shows, um, th oh, there it is. Wait, on, go back. Down to the right bottom. Right bottom. <laughs> so Mario, there you go. There you go. Mario, you're worried about yoked. what you're going to show next Mario looking yoked. Yo. All right, here we go. All right, so those are the Taliban. They're standing in front of World Food Program uh, and UN aid. So that's, that's, that's actual food and then winter you know, blankets and everything that come from the United Nations via the World Food Program. The Taliban in this photo are distributing it in, uh, I believe this is in Helmand or Kandahar. And um, what my source who was in the room was telling me is that the Taliban were saying that this is only for their people. If you fought against, if you didn't fight with them or for them. Your source is in the room. Yes, taking that photo. 
Uh, and what he was being told was that because they were basically, you had to prove that you fought with the Taliban to get this aid. 